Hello guys, it's Ritesh Morre again and today I will show you my another work named Ludo.pyw in Python which is a game on Ludo so I will first show you its output then finally I will show you its source code so moving on through its output we will get like uh, here so this is the final output which we will see after uh, doing our source code and here it is an infinite loop a while true loop which is asking or waiting for me to press a key and when i am pressing a key like this it is it generates a random number and then so it is its name here again when i press the mouse button it is resetting here and here to the so that the next uh, mouse click and the next numbers can be generated moving on you can see here so while pressing it is generating a random number and a random text what is the number so it's a six and th now moving through its source code we will get soon so so the source code follows and like this and notice the name here you can see that it is ludo.pyw it means it will use no console while running that program so after that i have imported two modules first random to which i have not used too much and, and after that the names from the graphics module after that i have created a graphene object named ludo of dimensions 500 into 500 after that i have created a lot of rectangles you can see also i have imported an image not imported but drawn an image on my canvas means graphene object named win so this all the set of rectangles which are drawn on the graphene object titled win sorry titled ludo and named win so you can see a lot of rectangles of different sizes and different uh, dimensions have been drawn to fulfill the needs of paperwork on which we play ludo it is an indian conventional game we all are familiar with it so after that i have created a dice consisting of six numbers which is a list a list of six numbers and then a capital dice which is a number chosen randomly from the list of dice after that i have created a class named shuffle and a function named get1 in which uh, uh, a text box will appear and it will drawn on the graphene object named win after that i have created a get2 which will draw number 2 text 2 on the graphene object and function get3 which will draw three circles on the middle and uh, three circles means a set of three as you can see on the dice and uh, after that i have created a function named get4 which will print or uh, draw text named 4 on the graphene object after that i have created a get5 function which will uh, what i say which will draw 5 text on the win and uh, get6 will draw 6 text and uh, on the graphene object vein so that's all the now i have created a main function in my <coughs> entire program in which i have again chosen a number randomly from the list of dice after that i have created a i have <laughs> i needed this no longer then i have created a while true loop which is an infinite loop and it will wait for me to press the mouse button and then if a chosen number means dice equals 1 and function of shuffle class get1 will be executed and if dice equals 2 shuffle dot get2 means the get2 function of shuffle class will be executed and if dice equals 3 get3 will be executed and if dice equals 4 get4 will be executed similarly after that i have used the reset function when i press the mouse button and now i am showing you the reset function which will draw 
two rectangles of the same color on the graph paper of Ludo. Like uh, as it will reset. I don't know uh, needed another algorithm. So after that, if name equals main, then again we can see the output as like this. So it is waiting for me to press the mouse button, and when I'm pressing the mouse button, it will generate a random number from the list of six numbers which are one two three and four five six respectively so i have also used the reset module as you can see they are four and so it's a six and thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye bye have a nice day dears